Hi boys and girls. I hope you had a good day today. I missed seeing you at school today and I can't wait till I see you again. Um, until we do get to see each other, I thought you might enjoy a story that I was planning on reading you today called How to Trap a Leprechaun. And I wanted to read you this book because tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. So I like to see if we can maybe try to trap those leprechauns like we talked about doing. Um, but since we can't do it at school today, maybe we can, you can try to do it at home tonight if that's okay with mom or dad. You could look around your house, get some ideas, and maybe this book will give you um, some different ideas that you hadn't thought of yet. The book is written by Sue Fleiss. It's illustrated by Emma Randall, the author and illustrator. How to Trap a Leprechaun. Legend tells of tiny elves who visit once a year. They'll steal your treasures for themselves, then quickly disappear. If you catch a leprechaun, he'll grant a wish, I'm told. But if he gets away, too bad, no wish, no luck, no gold. Poof. Small and full of trickery, they'll fool you if they can. I think I got them, this boy's saying. Catching one takes smarts and skills, but most of all, a plan. So you have to have an idea, that's your plan. The night before St. Patrick's Day, the leprechauns appear. That's tonight. If you wish to capture one, you'll need the proper gear. I mean, you'll need all of the things. You might have to look around for some things. First, you'll need to build a trap, one that he can't escape. Grab a box, a bottle cap, some glitter, glue, and tape. Well, those are just these boys and girls' ideas. Maybe you have other ideas. Use gold paint to coat the rocks. He'll think they're really cool. Scatter them inside the box, and he will come to steal. That's a good idea. And maybe you don't have gold paint. Maybe you just have something that's like yellow or shiny. Now, pour some glue inside the box and build a rainbow slide. That looks like fun. He'll take a ride to find the gold, but find he's stuck inside. Because we talked about it, we know all leprechauns like rainbows because they're looking for that pot of gold. Leprechauns come out at night so they can sneak around. So you'll have to have this done before you go to bed tonight. Now, now close the drapes and dim the light and wait without a sound. Did you hear that? Crinkle. Snap. Quickly. Check your snare. Hmm, snare. We haven't really ever heard that word before in a book. Snare is another word for a trap. Shucks. He just escaped the trap. He could be anywhere. Poof. They're quick. Look at this. He left his shoe, and in that shoe, a note, tiny words addressed to you, and this is what he wrote. Look at that tiny little shoe. Remember, we talked about they're only about as big as your thumb, so tiny shoes. This girl has a magnifying glass, though, so she's going to help us read the note. Dear children, thanks for the glitter and the shiny gold rocks, but I can't be trapped by a cardboard box. Your tricks were quite clever. Your trap was so great, but it takes more than rainbows to seal my fate. Signed, Liam the Leprechaun. Oh, it's a shame he got away, but please don't shed a tear. That's when we say, oh, well, Seashaw. Just go enjoy St. Patrick's Day and try again next year. And then this book gives lots of other ideas of things you can use around your house, maybe some ideas that you've already 
um, maybe talk to your family, your brothers and sisters, or your parents, and maybe you can see if you can catch a leprechaun. Now, I also have another project that I was hoping to do, and I'm going to make another video in just a little bit to show you how you can make this leprechaun. It's kind of like the other directed drawings that we've done before, boys and girls, so I'll make sure that you have all of the instructions, and if you take it slow and follow my directions, you'll be able to make this decoration to hang up for St. Patrick's Day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.